Okay, cis four octene, right? So uh, let's do uh, one, two, three, four, and then cis. So we know there's a double bond between carbon four and five, but we also know it to be cis. So that's carbon five. So this must be carbon six, seven, and eight. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks good to me. That is cis four octene, and we need to make that from acetylene. And one bromo propane. One bromo propane. How can we do that? All right, that's kind of what we're after. Well. I'm seeing right away a pattern when I look at cis 4 octene. That looks like if I were to detach this little bit right here, that is this little carbon chain right here. And similarly, if I detach that carbon chain right there, again, we get this propane. All right. So what it looks like to me is that we've had some sort of nucleophilic carbon created, oh, I don't know, right there, which we know is possible to do on acetylene, and that that nucleophilic carbon source, if you would permit me, performed an SN2 displacement, and that we did that on both sides of this acetylene, and then afterward, we use some sort of hydrogenation, which would turn that triple bond into a double bond, and as we know, uh, you know, hydrogenation with H2 over platinum happens on the surface and yields cis alkenes. So this is sort of the path forward, right? We turn this acetylene into a nucleophile and react it with one more propane. We take the product of that, uh, which now would be, you know, essentially, well, let's, let's step through it. I think hopefully you see where I'm going, but if not, when I walk through it in the forward direction, it'll be quite clear. Okay, so if we take acetylene, and we react it with sodium amide, we create Sodium acetylide plus ammonia, right? So it's proton transfer uh, from the acetylene to the amide, or amylid. Uh, amide, yeah. Uh, in either case, we now have a source of nucleophilic uh, carbon. Right, so we need only react this with our one bromopropane. Uh, for I will just sort of sketch this out so you can see where it's coming from. Attack on that carbon, displacement of the bromine to give the following. Right. And we can repeat this process, right? We want to attack that same group onto the other side, no problem. Just need to add more sodium amide. Amide. All right. Now all of a sudden we've got another nucleophile. Sodium counter ion. Great. And if we act it with uh, one bromopropane again, we just add that functional group to the other side. And right? we add that carbon to the other side. Oops. And now we've basically got almost our product. We've got octine, you know, uh, four octine. But if we then use Linlar's catalyst. Which we know will reduce a alkyne to an alkene, but not all the way reduce it to an alkane. 
we should get the sis. Uh, Uh, the sys product, right? And there we go. 